Picture yourself walking through the thick, humid rainforests of South America, where the leaves squish under your feet and the air smells like wet earth. You stop all of a sudden. You see something a shadow moving quickly across the ground in the woods. Your heart beats faster, and then you see it. It's not a jaguar or a snake. It's a spider so big and scary that it feels like you've walked into a creature from your worst nightmares. We are going to learn everything there is to know about the Goliath tarantula, the biggest and most powerful spider in the world. 1. Getting to know the Goliath tarantula, the Goliath tarantula, or Theraphosa blondi, is the biggest spider in the world according to science. Scientists, adventurers, and spider lovers alike have been fascinated by it. It is native to the rainforests of Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana. This spider is a real giant among arachnids. Its legs can reach up to 28 centimeters more than 11 inches, and it weighs almost 200 grams. The goliath is a ground-dwelling predator that hunts insects, small rodents, frogs, and even birds when it can. This is different from many spiders that use webs to catch their prey. People call it goliath because it is so big, like the biblical giant. But this spider has developed some amazing adaptations to live in one of the most competitive places on Earth. Even though it looks scary, two physical traits. The Goliath tarantula is not only big, but it is also built in a way that makes it good at hunting and staying alive. Its body is strong and covered in thick hair, some of which are urticating, which means they can irritate predators when they flick them. These hairs are a good way to protect yourself from possible dangers. The spider's fangs are very strong and can go through the exoskeletons of insects and the skin of small animals. Each fang is almost two centimeters long and its venom can cause severe pain, swelling, and allergic reactions. It is not usually deadly to people. The color of the Goliath tarantula is one of the most interesting things about it. Its body is usually dark brown to reddish and its legs and abdomen are covered in golden or reddish hairs. This color helps it blend in with the rainforest floor, which protects it from both predators and prey. 3. Where it lives and where it is found the tropical rainforests of northern South America, especially Venezuela, Guyana, and northern Brazil, are where Goliath tarantulas live. They do best in lowland forests that are humid, warm all the time, and get a lot of rain. These spiders like to live in burrows that they dig themselves or that other animals have left behind. And they line them with silk to make a safe place to hide. Not only do burrows protect spiders from predators, but they also give them a good place to hide and attack prey. The Goliath tarantula mostly stays hidden underground during the day and comes out at night to hunt when it's dark. For food and hunting, the Goliath tarantula is a huntsman, not a web-spinning spider. It catches prey by being quick, strong, and sneaky. It mostly eats big bugs like beetles, crickets, and cockroaches. But it doesn't mind going after bigger prey, like small frogs, lizards, and sometimes even mice or birds. The spider can tell when prey is getting close by feeling vibrations on the ground. Once it finds a target, it uses its huge fangs to inject venom, which paralyzes the victim before eating them. The Goliath tarantula has a lot of the skills and traits needed for this type of ambush hunting, including patience, accuracy, and strong physical adaptations. 5. How to act and protect yourself even though they have a scary reputation. Goliath tarantulas are usually not aggressive toward people. When they feel threatened, they would rather back off. But when they are cornered, they can use a number of defensive strategies, raising the front legs to make them look bigger and more scary, flicking urticating hairs off of their stomachs, which can make skin and eyes feel bad. As a last resort, they bite with their strong fangs. Most of the time, these spiders are active at night, which is when they are most active. This behavior helps them hunt and stay away from bigger predators like birds and mammals. 6. How long they live and how they reproduce the way Goliath tarantulas reproduce is very interesting. It takes males about three to six years to reach maturity, while females can take up to six years. During the mating season, males roam in search of females, frequently jeopardizing their lives due to predators and environmental dangers. After mating, females lay up to 200 eggs, which are kept safe in a silk egg sac. 
The female carefully protects the sac until the spiderlings hatch, which can take a few weeks. It's interesting that the lifespan is very different for males and females. Females can live up to 25 years, but males usually only live about five years after they reach maturity. 7. Importance to the environment Goliath tarantulas are very important to the rainforest ecosystem. They help keep the balance of nature by keeping the numbers of insects and small animals in check. They are also food for bigger animals, like some birds, snakes, and mammals, which makes them an important part of the food web. They need stable, humid habitats to live, so their presence means that the rainforest is healthy. Deforestation and habitat loss are big threats to their populations, which shows how important conservation efforts are in South America. 8. Interesting facts The Goliath tarantula is a very good predator because it can eat prey that is almost as big as it is. Its venom hurts, but it isn't thought to be deadly to humans, though some people may have allergic reactions. Some specimens have been known to live in captivity for more than 25 years. So they are long-term residents of arachnid collections. Goliath tarantulas can go weeks without food, which shows how well they can adapt to life in the wild. 9. False beliefs and myths People often make up stories about the Goliath tarantula because it is so big. A lot of people think that a bite could kill a person, but that's not true. Bites hurt and can cause swelling in the area where they happen, but they are not usually medically important. People also think that they are aggressive hunters of humans, but in reality, they are shy and prefer to stay away from people. Most injuries happen when people bother or mishandle them. 10. Status of Conservation Goliath tarantulas are not currently on the endangered species list, but they are in danger from habitat loss, deforestation, and the trade in exotic pets. To make sure they can live in the wild, we need to use sustainable methods and protect their habitats. Conservation efforts include keeping an eye on their habitats, making sure they are protected by law, and teaching people about how important they are to the environment. 11. Goliath tarantulas in movies and TV shows Goliath tarantulas are often shown in movies, documentaries, and arachnid exhibits because they are so big and scary. They are often shown as huge monsters that make people feel both awe and fear. This interest has made them one of the most famous tarantulas in the world, attracting the attention of both researchers and spider fans. 12. A brief overview The Goliath tarantula is a real giant among spiders because it is big, strong, and knows how to stay alive. This spider is a marvel of evolution because of its huge fangs, strong venom, ability to hunt at night, and long life. It can be scary to see in the wild. But it is also an important part of its ecosystem because it controls prey populations and provides food for other predators. Seeing a Goliath tarantula is a rare and unforgettable experience that shows how amazing and powerful nature can be. Its story isn't just about fear and interest. It's also about how to adapt, stay alive, and keep life in the rainforest in balance. Next time you think of the biggest animals in the world, don't just picture lions, elephants, or crocodiles. Picture the Goliath tarantula, a silent, powerful predator that crawls just a few inches above the forest. Florin rules its corner of the rainforest with quiet strength.